Alright, so here we have two concepts for building a vacuum cannon. The top one, concept one, is much more simple. It involves a straight tube with one Y joint in it, and um, the air is sucked out of the tube, then the rear membrane on the left is broken, which allows air to rush into the tube and throws the ball out towards the right end until it hits the barrier. On the other hand, the bottom one uses a air compressor and a converging diverging um, joint to to compress the air and then accelerate it into this into this airless tube so it throws the ball out much much faster and it's but it's much much more complicated so I chose the top one because a throwing something at nearly the speed of sound as concept 2 does um, is quite dangerous and B concept 1 is simply easier all right so in a normal cannon you have two components you have the charge and you have the projectile. The charge explodes and sends the projectile flying out the end of this because of the pressure of the exploding gases. All right, so in a normal cannon, you have three forces acting on the projectile while it's in the barrel. You have the exploding gases from the charge throwing it forward. You have gravity pushing it down and you have air resistance pushing it back okay in a vacuum cannon you don't have a charge and you also don't have any air in the barrel so there's no air resistance in the barrel you still have a projectile and air rushes into the back of this barrel and there's it acts as the charge it forces the projectile forward and out of the barrel so in a vacuum cannon there are only two forces acting on the projectile while it's in the barrel there is the inrushing air at the back pushing it forward and there's gravity pushing it down there is no air resistance and so that allows the ball to accelerate much much more quickly all right so these are the actual materials to build the main part of the cannon a one and a half inch abs sanitary tee a one and a half inch abs sleeve duct tape a four and a half inch length of one and a half inch PVC pipe and a seven foot length of one and a half inch PVC pipe. All these materials cost me about 10 bucks because I already had the PVC and the duct tape and so all I had to buy was the two ABS pieces. All right, here I am. I have to clean off the outside of the barrel with a wet towel and then just dry it off. And I have to do this because A, it won't look good, but more importantly, um, I, need it, I need the duct tape to be able to stick to it and it won't stick to it if it is dirty. All right, so now I'm putting duct tape on the outside of the pipes so the ABS fits more snugly, and then duct taping it so it remains airtight. Again, doing the same thing to the short length of pipe. Okay, just finishing up here, and now everything there should be airtight. All right, so that silver tube is the vacuum hose. Um, I'm going to need to duct tape it to the end of that sanity in order to uh, airtight it and um, so there will be actual suction introduced into the tube. This sped up a little bit so it's not quite so boring. Okay, here's the finished thing. Um, so you can see the vacuum and the hose going to the tube and uh, here's another view of it. You can see the paddle I'm going to use to seal it and here's the whole thing aimed as it should be. Okay, here's the end. Um, I'm putting a piece of paper over it, and that's what the ping pong ball will break through. And then there's a ceiling ring going over it, which is just a uh, ABS sleeve. And now it should be more or less airtight. That's all for the design and construction video. More to come soon in the testing and troubleshooting video. Hope you enjoyed.